Hello, my name is Scarlett and welcome to my very first Linux Geek tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to install Wine on Linux. Wine is a very good application. You can use it to install Windows applications on Linux. So if you're thinking about not switching over to Linux because you just love your Windows application so very very much, Wine is your answer to this problem. Okay, Let's see. first of all we need to go to our terminal so we can install it and it's just a very simple command which is sudo apt get install why the name of our application okay. and type in your password and away we go yes I want to continue Okay, because I have had Wine previously installed on my computer, it did run through a lot faster than it usually does. It usually takes a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Okay, so now that we have it installed, there, Let's see, we are now ready to install our applications. I have already downloaded a couple of applications in my downloads folder. I have downloaded Format Factory which is used to convert videos and pictures to different formats and Notepad++. It's a very good development tool. Okay, And I will be installing Format Factory via GUI with Wine which you just right click, open with, Wine Windows Program Loader And then the setup comes right up. It's very convenient, very fast, very nice. Okay. And then it's just going to run through and do its little thing. Next. Oh, there we go. Okay. You want to install your inside codecs and everything. It looks like there we are. We're all set up and good. Looks really good to me. You can hit add file and add files and convert different files to different formats. And since this is a Windows only application, I know a lot of people look for um, alternatives to Windows applications when using Linux. But um, now you don't have to search for alternatives because you can use the real thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to install Notepad++. I'm going to do this via terminal. Now, don't let the terminal intimidate you. I used to be really scared of it. I hated the terminal. But now, you know, it's pretty good. It's really not that hard. Just don't let it get to you. So first, what we need to do is we need to change our, the directory we're working in, which we want to go to our downloads folder, since that's where we have it. CD for change directory and then DOW and if you'll hit tab it'll automatically fill it in for you and that is wonderful I learned that and it changed my life literally okay so then we just need to put LS and it'll show us what files we have in our downloads folder and there's our notepad plus plus file so all you do is type wine MPP tab hit enter and it automatically comes up. How nice is that? English, yes. Next. Okay. All the defaults look good, although you can change them as needed. And all I'm going to do is hit create shortcut on desktop because you don't really need anything more than that. It's just going to run through and do its little thing here. And the box is already checked to run it, so just hit finish. Oh, looky there. Okay, looks like we can just go in here and start typing away and make web pages or applications or anything we want. Okay, very nice. Okay, so that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. 
Um, if you like this, please subscribe and don't forget to watch more. See you next time. Bye.